Numbers 5 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper, everyone who has a discharge, and whoever is unclean by a corpse. You shall put both male and female outside of the camp, so that they don't defile their camp in the midst of which I dwell. The children of Israel did so, and put them outside of the camp. As Yahweh spoke to Moses, so the children of Israel did. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. When a man or a woman commits any sin that men commit, so as to trespass against Yahweh, and that soul is guilty, then he shall confess his sin which he has done, and he shall make restitution for his guilt in full. Add to it the fifth part of it, and give it to him in respect of whom he has been guilty. But if the man has no kinsman to whom restitution may be made for the guilt, the restitution for guilt which is made to Yahweh shall be the priest's, in addition to the ram of the atonement, by which atonement shall be made for him. Every heave offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel, which they present to the priest, shall be his. Every man's holy things shall be his. Whatever any man gives to the priest, it shall be his. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, If any man's wife goes astray and is unfaithful to him, and a man lies with her carnally, and it is hidden from the eyes of her husband, and this is kept concealed, and she is defiled, there is no witness against her, and she isn't taken in the act. And the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she is defiled. Or if the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she isn't defiled, then the man shall bring his wife to the priest, and shall bring her offering for her, one-tenth of an ephah of barley meal. He shall pour no oil on it, nor put frankincense on it, for it is a meal offering of jealousy, a meal offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to memory. The priest shall bring her near, and set her before Yahweh. The priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and the priest shall take some of the dust that is on the floor of the tabernacle, and put it into the water. The priest shall set the woman before Yahweh, and let the hair of the woman's head go loose, and put the meal offering of memorial in her hands, which is the meal offering of jealousy. The priest shall have in his hand the water of bitterness that brings a curse. The priest shall cause her to take an oath, and shall tell the woman, If no man has lain with you, and if you haven't gone aside to uncleanness, being under your husband's authority, be free from this water of bitterness that brings a curse. But if you have gone astray, being under your husband's authority, and if you are defiled, and some man has lain with you besides your husband, then the priest shall cause the woman to swear with the oath of cursing, and the priest shall tell the woman, May Yahweh make you a curse and an oath among your people, when Yahweh allows your thigh to fall away, and your body to swell. And this water that brings a curse will go into your bowels, and make your body swell, and your thigh fall away. The woman shall say, Amen, Amen. The priest shall write these curses in a book, and he shall wipe them into the water of bitterness. He shall make the woman drink the water of bitterness that causes the curse, and the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. The priest shall take the meal offering of jealousy out of the woman's hand, and shall wave the meal offering before Yahweh, and bring it to the altar. The priest shall take a handful of the meal offering as its memorial portion, and burn it on the altar, and afterward shall make the woman drink the water. When he has made her drink the water, then it shall happen, if she is defiled and has committed a trespass against her husband, that the water that causes the curse will enter into her and become bitter, and her body will swell and her thigh will fall away, and the woman will be a curse among her people. If the woman isn't defiled, but is clean, then she shall be free, and shall conceive offspring. This is the law of jealousy. When a wife, being under her husband, goes astray and is defiled, or when the spirit of jealousy comes on a man, and he is jealous of his wife, then he shall set the woman before Yahweh, and the priest shall execute on her all this law. The man shall be free from iniquity, and that woman shall bear her iniquity. Numbers 6 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, When either man or woman shall make a special vow, the vow of a Nazarite, to separate himself to Yahweh, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. He shall drink no vinegar of wine or vinegar of fermented drink. Neither shall he drink any juice of grapes, nor eat fresh grapes or dried. All the days of his separation he shall eat nothing that is made of the grapevine, from the seeds even to the skins. 
All the days of his vow of separation, no razor shall come on his head, until the days are fulfilled in which he separates himself to Yahweh. He shall be holy. He shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow long. All the days that he separates himself to Yahweh, he shall not go near a dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father, or for his mother, for his brother, or for his sister when they die, because his separation to God is on his head. All the days of his separation he is holy to Yahweh. If any man dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles the head of his separation, then he shall shave his head in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day he shall shave it. On the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons to the priest, to the door of the tent of meeting. The priest shall offer one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, and make atonement for him, because he sinned by reason of the dead, and shall make his head holy that same day. He shall separate to Yahweh the days of his separation, and shall bring a male lamb a year old for a trespass offering. But the former days shall be void, because his separation was defiled. This is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought to the door of the tent of meeting, and he shall offer his offering to Yahweh, one male lamb a year old, without defect, for a burnt offering, one ewe lamb a year old, without defect, for a sin offering, one ram without defect, for peace offerings, a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil with their meal offering and their drink offerings. The priest shall present them before Yahweh, and shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. He shall offer the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh, with a basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall also offer its meal offering and its drink offering. The Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tent of meeting, take the hair of the head of his separation, and put it on the fire which is under the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall take the boiled shoulder of the ram, one unleavened cake out of the basket, and one unleavened wafer, and shall put them on the hands of the Nazarite after he has shaved the head of his separation. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. They are holy for the priest, together with the breast that is waved and the thigh that is offered. After that, the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who vows and is offering to Yahweh for his separation, in addition to that which he is able to afford, according to his vow which he vows, so he must do after the law of his separation. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is how you shall bless the children of Israel. You shall tell them, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his face toward you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them.